Hey there, Python trainer Ruben Lerner here. And today I want to talk to you about how to turn numeric data into categorical data in pandas using the cut method. And I've already set up my Jupyter notebook here with importing NumPy, importing pandas from pandas import series and data frame. And I'm going to use one of my favorite data sets, the New York City taxi data set. This is from January 2019. I'm going to say here df equals pd read csv. And I'm going to say file name. And then I only need a few of the columns to prove my point. I'm going to say here use calls equals. I'm going to say here trip distance. And we'll say here passenger count. And we'll say here total amount. And this is actually a lot of data. It's, if I remember correctly, seven and a half million rows. So it's going to take a little bit to load up. And indeed, if we say here DF of shape, we see here it's 7.6 million rows. Fantastic. And if we do a DF head, we're going to see, and this is um, every single taxi ride reported in New York City in January 2019. And here we've got for each of these rides, the passenger count, the trip distance in miles, the total amount paid, and of course, dollars and cents. And so, if I want to find out which trips were very short, let's just say short, and let's say less than five miles, right? I can, of course, use a Boolean uh, series to do that. I can use an operator. I can say your DF of trip distance is less than five. That's going to give me a Boolean series. And I can apply that. I can say here df.lock of this whole thing. And then I get only those rows that are less than five miles long. And I can, of course, do the same thing if I want to have long trips. How about long trips here? Let's say greater than 20 miles. So I'll say here df.lock uh, of df trip distance is greater than 20. And there's nothing necessarily wrong with this. But what if I want to have a category for this? I'd like to be able to say, I want to say short trips are less than five miles and long trips are greater than 20 miles. And let's say medium trips are between five, you know, greater than five and less than 20. So basically what I want to do is turn this numerical column into a categorical column, into one that I can describe as short, medium, long. How can I do that? Well, one way to do this is manually. So I can say here, df of trip, let's call it distance category. I'm just gonna create a new column here, equals medium. And then what I can do is I can say once again, df lock of df trip distance is less than five, distance category. And I'm gonna say here is going to be equal to short. And then I can do the same thing here where I say, if it's greater than 20, I say it's going to equal to long. And now that I've done this, if I do a DF head, we're going to see our distance categories. And I can even say now DF of distance category value counts. And we're going to find out how many were short, how many were medium, how many were long. And by the way, you can see that the overwhelming majority of trips in New York City taxis are less than five miles. If I say normalize equals true with value counts, we'll see that's 86% of the trips. Wow, that's a lot of trips. People really should be walking more, but that's a separate issue. The thing is, if we have three categories that are really easy to describe in this way, I guess I could do this manually. But there is another way to do this. And the other, I think, better way to do this is with the cut method. So I'm going to, first of all, I'm going to remove the distance category uh, column. So I'm going to say here, df equals df.drop of distance category. I'm going to say here axis equals columns. And yes, you can use zero and one for rows and columns, but I really, really like to use the name here because then it's much clearer to me. And now indeed I have dropped that column, all is good. So now what am I going to do? So I'm going to use cut. And cut, first of all, it's not df.cut. It doesn't exist. It's actually pd.cut. And with pd.cut, what I'm going to do is I'm going to say, here are the borders. Here are the lines between my different categories. And my labels are going to be short, medium, and long. Well, now what? Now I actually have to say, where am I going to draw the lines? And let's just look at the help for a moment on PD cut, help on PD cut. And you're going to see that we first of all have to give our, uh, our series. So I'm going to say PD cut on DF of 
trip distance. So I have to give a series on which I'm running things. And then I have to give the bins. And this is perhaps the most confusing thing, at least for me. The bins are the numbers that will mark the beginning and end of each of these labels. So where does short begin and where does short end? Where does medium begin and where does medium end? Where does long begin and where does long end? Well, actually, where short ends and medium begins, that's the same thing. And where medium ends and long begins, that's the same thing. So I'm going to need to get indicate four numbers. Where short begins, the border between short and medium, the border between medium and long, and then where long ends. So I'm going to say here, then bins equals, and I have to give four numbers. There are other ways to do this, but I like to do it as numbers. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to say here, well, what? I can say zero, and then I'm going to say five, and I'm going to say 20, and then I'm going to say what? Let's say 100,000. And now look what I get back. I actually get back a new series. PD cut returns a new series. What can I do with that? Well, I can say df of trip category. I guess I call it distance category. Category. And if I assign this back, now what am I going to see? Well, now I can say df head. And we're going to have distance category. Short, short, wait a second. Nan. What's going on there? Well, I did say it has to be bigger than zero. And this can be a little bit of a problem. Because if I say now df of distance category value counts, what are we going to get? Well, it's still going to show short, medium, and long, but it's going to ignore all those that were zero or less than zero. So how can I get rid of this? How can I deal with this? Well, there are a few different options. One of them is just to make it like definitely, definitely smaller than the minimum that we have for anything. So sometimes what I like to do is I say df of distance category, or I would say df of trip distance dot min. And here I would say df of trip distance dot max. And then we're going to end up with fewer of the oops, df of, let's try to write this correctly. We're still going to end up with nan. Why? Because we said the minimum, well, actually, like the minimum is always going to be zero. We have to be a little lower than that. So I can say minimum minus one, say, and the max plus one. And then I don't have to worry about it as much. And then what do you know? It's a short trip. So that's a little bit of what we have to do. I'll also say that I do a help on pd.cut. You'll see here in the help, and the help is always, always amazing. You can ask whether, here we go, right, bool is default true. Do the bins include the rightmost edge or not? What does that mean? Now, the default is true. So it means if I have the bins one, two, three, four, so it's going to be from one up to and including two, from two, or, and then up to and including three, up to and including four. So this means, and the way they like to show it is, not including one, yes, including two, not including two, yes, including three. The question is basically, do you want it to be up to and including or starting with and including? Like, where do you think it should be there? And so by having my minus one and plus one here, I sort of get around that. But it does mean that this border between short and medium, how's it going to be? Well, right by default is true. So it means that any trip up to and including five miles, so it's less than or equal to five, is going to be considered short, anything less than or equal to 20. So if you're wondering about those borders there, you do want to think about how you set your bins. And then we get categorical data, and we can deal with it in that way. Now, are you always going to want to do this? No. Very often, having numerical data is better. But if you want to categorize things, this is a great way to do it. And I'll add, by the way, that if I say df of distance category, Sure enough, we see short, medium, and long. And look at this. The D type of this new series, meaning this new column that we created, is indeed categories. And categories are a pandas D type that we can work with in many ways and that are really great, especially for saving memory. Because it's not actually writing short and short and short and medium and medium and long and long. Rather, what it's doing is it's putting in a reference to that string. And it's only storing these strings here in one place. So you don't have to worry that you're using tons and tons of memory. You can think of categories as sort of like enums in a programming language where we use symbols, but it's referring to numbers. All right, I have definitely found that cut is super useful in doing a whole lot of different analysis with data. And I hope that this explanation helps you as well. Don't forget, you can always read more of what I have to write on my free Better Developers newsletter, it comes out every Monday, or on Twitter, or right here on YouTube. Subscribe, and I'll see you back soon with more hints about Python and Pandas.